Hello everyone. I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a scenario based on scheduled triggered flow. Let's understand the requirement of scheduled trigger flow scenario. So we need to update lead records on daily basis. So, for example, in an organization, on daily basis, lead records are created. We need to check lead source field on the lead records. If lead source is web, then we need to put the website URL that is study salesforce.com in the website field that is available on the lead object. So let's jump into org and uh, I'm going to show you leads first. So here we have variety of leads. So I'm just selecting all open leads list view. So here I'm going to change the list view field selection. So I'm going to select the lead source field. And the website field. I'm just removing owner Elias state province and I'm clicking on save. So here you can see lead source is visible. So for four leads right now, lead sources web, sorry, five lead records are having lead source as web. Now here website field is blank for all. So what we need to do, we need to create a scheduled triggered flow so that on daily basis, whatever leads are there, where lead source is web, so they will be populated with the website name in the website field. So I'm going to create new flow. So from here, I'm selecting scheduled triggered flow. So here we need to set the schedule, right? So frequency, I need to select daily date and time what we can do just open any record and go to details and modify particular field with a value and save it so this i'm demonstrating for demo purpose like uh, generally uh, like you should know the current date and time of the org if you don't know, so you can just uh, do this quick trick, like you can update or you can create any uh, record so that you can have the last modified date and time. So here you can see we have last modified date and time. So date is uh, four, seven and time is 10, eight. So I, I need to schedule basis on this, right? So here I'm selecting date as 4th July and time is 10, eight. So I am taking, so it is 10, eight PM. So I am taking ten fifteen PM as of now, clicked on done. Now here, if you want to choose object and you want to specify the condition, so you can. So we can just specify the condition as lead source equals web, right? So if this condition satisfied, then only it will work. I clicked on done. Now I need to click on plus. I'm selecting update records. So update leads. Specify the condition, select the object. Then here we can again select the condition. So that condition was optional. If you don't uh, select the entry condition, then you can put condition here as well. And we need to put the website name. So here I'm putting study salesforce.com and clicking on done. So this way my record, sorry, scheduled triggered flow is created. Now, I need to click on save. And once I activate this flow, so 
it will be scheduled automatically. So here is the warning update leads. The update leads, update record element in this flow can cause performance issue. At runtime, the flow starts an interview for, for each record specified in the start element and stores each lead in the dollar record global variable. Check whether the update leads element is still necessary or add a filter so that the element accesses only the lead in the dollar record global variable. So what we can do instead of using this particular thing, we can choose this as well because the records which will be selected, the information will be available in this dollar record global variable. So what we can do, we can select website. So this way also we can do because we already specified the entry condi condition. So basis on that record will be selected and they will be available in this dollar record. So that record will be updated with this website. So I'm saving it again and activating it. So as I activated it, so I need to go here and search for scheduled jobs. So this option you need to open and here you will find one entry. So here you can see we have this entry update leads and one, one is the version. So version is one. So that's why it is available and uh, submitted by username, then submitted date and time. So it was submitted at 10, 11 and we scheduled it for 10, 15. So next schedule run is 10, 15. So after four minutes, it will be executed. And here you will see the started and uh, for next schedule run, it will automatically convert with uh, 752022. Right, because we selected it to run on daily basis, right? And after successful execution, we just need to go here on the leads. We need to select the list view, all open leads, and you will see these uh, fields like uh, for the records where lead source is web. So this website field will be filled automatically. Okay, so this way this flow is created. So I'm just waiting so that it can execute and I can show you whether records are updated or not, right? So since we applied this entry condition, that's why we don't need to put condition here because the selected records will be updated automatically. If you don't specify the condition in the entry, then you can choose this third option and you can specify the condition here as well. So I'm moving here and doing a refresh so that I can see whether it is executed or not. So still there is some time. So we just need to wait uh, for a couple of more minutes so that it will be updated. A website field will be updated on the lead records. So you can check by refreshing this page as well. Still it is not updated. So whatever uh, flow you will be scheduling uh, the information uh, you can find under this uh, schedule jobs, right? So here we have alphabets as well. If you want to uh, search your flow alphabetically, so you can just click on particular alphabet so that uh, it can be viewed. And later on, like at any point of time, if you don't want to run your schedule uh, triggered flow. So from here, you can just delete this entry so that it won't be executed anymore. So still uh, it, is having some time. So let's do one more refresh. So I hope this time it got executed. So here you can see started at 10 15 next schedule run is for next day. Like date is five, right? Time is same date will change. Now, if I go here and do a refresh, so you will see website field will be having some value. So wherever lead source is web, so there you can see website field is filled with study salesforce.com. So this way you can schedule uh, your automation with the help of schedule triggered flow. So I hope you understood like for this requirement, how I configured this schedule triggered flow. Now at any point of time, if you don't want this, so you can just delete this entry. So the scheduled entry is deleted. Now, if you want to reschedule it, so you just need to save as or deactivate and then activate so that it will be rescheduled 
automatically. 